Where the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains meet the fields of the bluegrass region, in the heart of Lexington, Kentucky, stands one of the United States of America's historic public universities, the University of Kentucky. Established in 1865, the University of Kentucky is proud to be an original land-grant institution. The first classes started in 1867 with 190 students and 10 faculty members who taught courses like sacred literature, mental and moral philosophy, zoology, and botany. UK has a proud tradition of providing quality education to students and fostering scientific breakthroughs. Two scientists who studied here went on to win Nobel Prizes, Thomas Hunt Morgan and William Lipscomb. Today, faculty, staff, and students are fulfilling the promises of those early days. Home to more than 31,000 students and with an annual operating budget of more than five billion U.S. dollars, the university is now among the top public universities in the United States. 16 degree-granting colleges and professional schools are part of the University of Kentucky. UK also operates an extensive healthcare enterprise on its campus with a main hospital that is nationally ranked. Faculty, staff, and students work together to advance life-changing research. The University of Kentucky attracts students, faculty, and visiting scholars from more than 100 countries around the world, united in the desire to do more and be more for this community, state, and world. To teach in a, a population of students where you know that every degree they get will be transformative in their lives and in the lives of their family is incredibly important. So what's the purpose of, um, of a university? It's to turn out people who know how to do a job. Just check the box, I cleared the class, they learned this material, uh, we met the criteria for accreditation. <laughs> you know, that's not what it's about. But what's the real objective of what we're doing? So that when these people go out into the workplace, they know what they're doing, and they contribute to society, and they're well-trained. You know, I think there's just something rewarding, right, with, with being able to, um, you know, pass on little bits of knowledge that you can um, to students and, and, and watch them, you know, grow and flourish as they, you know, make their way through a course or make their way through, you know, years in the discipline. This was such an opportunity, especially for someone in my field, to come somewhere that would just be a game changer for the, to really accomplish the goals that I want to do, to help improve people's health in the long run. Anytime that we get into healthcare, so regardless of, of your profession, right, there's a desire to help others or to, to be a part of, of healing in, in a community. And I think one of the things for me is that we get the chance to, to both model that for our students and then really facilitate it, give them the opportunity to care for patients in the same way that we would. And it's really special and unique opportunity to get to straddle that line of both, you know, being a healthcare provider yourself, but on the same time, watching students grow from when they show up here as a, as a first year professional student. Where I was, I would have been a very, very good scientist, but likely not had a direct impact on people's lives. Here, I do. Part of it's selfish, right? Um, because, you know, you there's, there's just this sense of, you know, pride and accomplishment, but not necessarily for yourself, but, but for being able to see, you know, the students go out and do, do some really great things. I always tell my students, it's not what I want you to be, it's my job to get you to the places you want to be, and that is a form of freedom. So everything we do here should be about liberating our students to be the people who they want to be, the best version of those people. 